I'm electric. Bridge fish. And welcome back. As we catch up to the fresh. All right, so last episode, Barry did not want to reveal his true identity and is now incarcerated in the same cell his dad was. Oh my God, that's. It would make things a lot easier, but then again, he's not. There's nothing really super like what what because everyone's gonna be after him too if they told the truth. So I'm glad that they, he didn't reveal himself. Well, it wasn't Iris's secret to tell, and she was gonna tell everyone. She was too old. To be fair, she wanted to save Barry. It ain't her choice to make. That I know, but. Give her credit, she wanted to save Barry. She was thinking of him. Oh, I know she was. A lot of amazing things happened last episode, and to kind of help us recap, we officially started our Stardust Spotlight. And without further ado, this is our Stardust Spotlight. There were some things about this episode that really pissed me off, aka I do, the dude who in court whose name I do not know. But let me just tell you that if this were a crossover with How to Get Away with Murder Annalise Keating would shut that guy down and she would do whatever she could to help Barry win. Annalise don't take no bullshit. But overall, very good episode, good start to the second half of the season. I'm curious to see how they're going to defeat DeVoe and how long Barry's going to stay in prison, but who knows. That was this week's Stardust Spotlight. If you guys want to be featured, if you want to say what your opinions were of this episode we are about to watch and get featured in next reaction. Please look in our description below and you will find the link to Stardust. Go ahead and create your own account, follow us, and tag us in your own Stardust reaction. And depending on how many people do it, we should be able to get you in Stardust Spotlight. Exactly. And we want to make sure everyone's opinion is heard. And no matter what you guys think, as long because we're all nerds here, I mean, say what your opinion is. Exactly. All right, so shall we jump into it? Yeah, this, I'm excited for this because the title alone. The title alone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so Ralph, it, Ralph is the best. So here's the thing. Ralph has the ability to be silly. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. The Flash overall is a light tone, but he doesn't need to be ridiculously silly. I can understand why some people don't like Ralph. I didn't like him at first in the beginning either, but I know because he come across as like very Sleazy. yeah, and I could see that. And that part's I'm always like, come on, Ralph. I've liked him all along. <laughs> He's the best. <laughs> but you know he is humorous, and he did have a really amazing moment with Joe last night because he wanted to make sure Joe didn't make the same mistake that he did that's actually, that's with really planting right. the evidence. He's yep. trying. The thing is with why I like Ralph is he's trying to better himself. He's learning he's how to be social with other people because no one's ever actually taught him this is what you should do, this is what you shouldn't do. Right, Joe. And he's been growing and learning from the team from that aspect. All right, so let's get into it. This is the flash. Season four. Episode 11. The elo- wait, no. The elongated night rises. <laughs> what? What's going on? Oh, he wants to go to the Flash and save him. Barry! Friendly, like a, like a Prius. Okay, we can do that. Better hurry up, because these hostages don't have much time. Thanks, pal. Since the last decent meal you're getting for the next five to ten years. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Your friendly neighborhood superhero. <laughs> you can call me. Free cold sticks and stones may break my bones, buddy. Well, and you just uh, <laughs> we're gonna heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> He's so silly. I know. That just be a lesson to all stretch. Occupied what with Barry being in prison and all. You say Ralph's trying to help by it. Helping people that anything that might prove to vote for him Barry yet? Yeah. My dad and Cecile are meeting with on the inside. I can make some calls. Shut up, Ralph. What the fuck? <laughs> that part was not okay, but I know he was looking at the files and trying to like. Is that what's open now? 
But can you do this? But can you do this? Oh, what is this? What is the best? Oh, he's faking it for her. Well, yeah. How do you know that? Oh! She's married to Mark Hamill. <laughs> and Mark Hamill takes her. Know, she was tranquilized as long in robbery. She was always by his side. Man, what were people wearing back then? Zoe Clark was the benefit. That's from the original Flash show. Oh my god, that's amazing. Like I was born nine months after Zoe was last seen. I bet she left out. It's Mark Hamill! She's a customer. Jose. You think Ralphie's made of money? <laughs> You know what would be great for wow. Iris's character if she still worked as a journalist, or if we saw her work as a journalist, oh, use her intel today. as a journalist to kind of talk to suspicious people who kind of have any indication of where awesome. the trickster's mom would be. Yes. Today on TV, I was the one driving you to school. You know, I was the one making normal sure you got your mom son conversation. I was the one packing the lunches. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do it. Too late. Oh! I know, like, as a wrestler, but I don't, I don't know. He's got a face for radio. Trisha's hijacking the city's broadcasting signal. Hey, we're gonna play a little. I got this. Still haven't taken that off, huh? Oh, I sleep in this. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Not today, Satan. Well, now we know what your kryptonite is. What the hell is kryptonite? What? Oh, come on. Is he going to heal? Probably. Okay, so... Mom, you did that for me? I would do anything for you, Boo-Boo. Oh, oh, oh. Would you? Oh. Oh. Bebo? So I would turn off. Right? I don't know. And fucking Bebo, stop it! <laughs> I even made a pocket size. Is it accident proof? I can't do it, guys. In the face of danger, I'm out. Good learning opportunity for him. What are you doing here? I'm breaking you out. Fearless like you are. Ralph, I'm not fearless. I mean, I wake up every day in this cell and feel like there's nothing I can do to help anyone. Rise up. I don't think it's a stretch for you. <laughs> you really believe I can do that? Yes. There's a lot of repressed anger. Let's go! I love Caitlin. She's just like, but guys, you can understand. They just come up with different ways to scare her. Prison doctors are gone for the night. There's no way they could have made it back in time. But Doc Henry convinced Warden Wolf to do surgery. He operated and saved my life. Big hey, sir. Oh, come on! We need you out of here. Get their hands on that technology. I'm guessing the plan didn't work. I'm a super. Groovy. Groovy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gosh damn it! You and that word. All right. He's a wrestler. I'm an actor. <laughs> Yeah. Good suit. And he helped me remember that no one is fearless. But real heroes, they find a way to rise above that fear and make a difference. I love his mask. Even if it kills them. Ah! 
Episode. You want a cookie? Yes. <laughs> exactly. Come on, man. No worries. The always pay it forward. That's my motto, you know? Strangers. You know, we're short on cash, and then someone just steps out of the blue and helps out in a totally random way, am I right? Uh huh. And, you know, it, it's, it's more than just. I think there's hope for you, yeah. That's a stretch. Is that what we freeze frame? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is what we freeze frame. Yep, from the future. So it freeze frame. This is Chris Williams, an all new episode of Black Lightning. Which we'll be watching soon. But um, we'll be watching that in the summer. <laughs> Okay, so here's the difference. Check it out, right? The lightheartedness makes sense for what villain and what hero we have currently. Yes. So that's when it makes sense to have be kind of goofy. Because the trickster is kind of like the Joker. And the trickster in the animated show, and then I didn't watch the, uh, obviously didn't watch the Flash when John Wesley Ship was the Flash. Mm -hmm. But Mark Hamill was in there, and he was a trickster, and he's supposed to be a goof. That kills people. So um, yeah. it would, it totally made sense. It made it made sense. sense for the tone of the episode too. Yeah, we still get some grounded um, um, <laughs> tone when we're in the prison because that's what it should be. Mm -hmm. That's what it should be in the prison should be a grounded tone. So it was a great um, combination of those. Great um, mm -hmm. Barry being a mentor and new suit finally for Divney. So this was an altogether amazing episode. But there's only one thing, one word I have to say to sum it up though. Oh God. Groovy. <laughs> oh. I wanna know who oh, the girl good. is, cause she was at Barry's wedding. She spoke to Barry and she and was really she's excited. So she's not, she's obviously from the future from what she was writing yes. and she knows who they are. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She knows who all of them are. So obviously she's close with them. I like the theory that she's Barry's daughter. It's definitely possible. With this complexion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it could be Iris and Barry's daughter. It makes total sense. One of the tornado twins. <laughs> Please. That would be so badass. And then, it's just a great episode, I think. It was, like you said, a well balance of the cheesy because it made sense with Ralph's character because he's supposed to be corny like yes. that. Especially in the comics. He's very elongated man. It's not a superhero you're supposed to take seriously. Well, well like classic in uh, both of them. Yeah. yeah, both of them. They both play up the corny, silly. Which is, you know, makes sense. Yeah, makes sense for their character and a lot of good callbacks. And I love Ralph's costume, honestly. It really is cool. At first, uh, first promo pic, and as always happens, they just look like. Uh, kind of off but you know I've honestly yeah all the promos for all the cd cw shows like you see it in the promo it's like eh, it looks okay and then you watch it in person's like all right makes sense all right gotcha it looks 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 pretty cool um pretty fun episode i think honestly i enjoyed it yeah, yeah it was fun definitely want to see more all right let us know what you guys thought below and once again feel free to check the description below go to grab a stardust give us your Mm -hmm. What you thought about this, tag us in and you can see yourself in the next uh, reaction. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you next time.